Uh, hi, I'm Ken Rudd. I have NF1, and this is the world without NF to me. I imagine the world when I was a child, where I don't have to deal with the stares of other children, with not being able to keep up in sports and in gym class, and not having just that many more doctor's appointments than any other kid. I also imagine a world where I'm born with all my bones, and when I break a bone, it actually heals. I imagine a world as an adolescent, without the social stigma of facial disfigurement and physical disability. And I imagine the world as an adult, not only without the social stigma of facial disfigurement, but also without the judgment of people who are otherwise intelligent and good people. I imagine a world without the added risk of malignancy, and a world where an adult with NF has no risk of passing it on to his kids. That's all fantasy, perhaps, but the hard work of scientists and this foundation will bring it closer to reality. Hi, I'm Brigitte Wiedemann, and I'm this year's Children's Tumor Foundation Medical Honoree, and this is what a world without NF looks like for me. Right now, there is no way for us to predict what problems patients with NF will develop and when. So for me, thinking of a world without NF, it would be like a picture of a sunny day. There would be some clouds, but no dark clouds and not the sense of when is lightning going to strike. This would mean for patients that they could live their days without these worries associated with NF. Having worked with NF for the last 15 years, I can see that so much has happened into this direction, from clinical and basic researchers working together, and most importantly, patients and their families engaged in this process towards a world without NF. My name is Lara Levine Lipoff. My son Raphael has NF2, and this is a world without NF. without NF for a six-year-old would look very different than Raphael's world. And I feel like I'm watching a car crash in slow motion and there's nothing I can do about it. And that's like a guilt that I have tried very hard to come to terms with. But I do find perspective in the reality that we have so many days ahead of us and we've had so many good days behind us and some people don't have that. There's nothing that Raphael can't do. He says that he wants to be an engineer and a scientist. Sometimes he says he wants to be a cop. Sometimes he says he wants to be a daddy and have lots of babies and be a really good husband. I am 100% confident that he is going to do all of those things and anything else that he wants. Hi, my name is Sarah Rodwell. This year I'll be the 2017 Children's Tumor Foundation Ambassador, and this is what a world without NF looks like to me. A world without NF means no headaches and no more sensitive skin. I would no longer struggle in school and I would not need MRIs to check for tumors or worry about my health. I would be able to feel better each day and every day with no worries. A world without NF would mean it wouldn't take me multiple times to reread a passage over. A world without NF I wouldn't have to be talked down to, or I wouldn't have to be babied, I would just be treated like a normal teenager. The truth is, if I didn't have NF, I wouldn't be as a good person as I am today. NF has made me help others more so than I used to, and it's made me think how I'm luckier than others. My family, friends, doctors, and people in the NF community help me get through this each day. My name is 
to my closest school and I have an F1 and this is my world without an F. In a world without NF, I wouldn't have migraines, go to the doctors all the time, and have MRIs all the time. When I was a little baby, I thought NF would sort of slow me down and doing things. I didn't play as much and I didn't eat as much. Even though that I have NF, I still play baseball. I'm really good at baseball. I've sold lots of bases. I have five game balls, scored lots of runs, and I hope to make All-Star next year. NF doesn't hurt my baseball game at all. When I grow up, I hope it's better than when I was younger. Hello, I'm Billy Lerner, and this is what a world without NF would look like. I first became aware of NF when my close friends, Vicki and Stuart Matsuna, invited me to one of their charity events. I was so moved to hear the children with NF speak at this event and was amazed and in awe they were so full of life and happiness. Currently, there is no cure for NF, which is why it is so important to have a support system like CTF. That enables people living with NF to flourish and live fulfilled lives. Your continued support will fund research and give hope to people with NF. 